Onward to season two. So remember season one, we started out one and five and finished the season six and six. Though we lost the bowl game, definitely have some momentum coming into season two. And thanks to chat, we'll be starting out at home, hosting the LSU Tigers and we're ranked 23. So we'll take it. And defensively, after giving up a big play, we get things started. Malcolm picking off the ball and taking it to the house. House calls 78-yard pick six. And Hartzog puts the Huskers up early. Unfortunately, LSU would answer. Mason. Friend of the chat, but not on this instance, at least, or in this instance. 30-yard touchdown reception. Oof. Fourth and two, we go for it. Big play here, Quinn breaking the tackle. Might not have been able to get the first down, and it pays off because Dante Dowdle takes it in from seven out, 14 to seven. LSU, they answer quarterback all day, but incomplete. Fourth and goal, mm, not enough break on that one. But unfortunately, it wouldn't matter. I did say they'd answer. There you go right there. Caleb Jackson, five-yard touchdown. That makes it 14-13 with the blocked extra point. Dylan able to not lose yards there. Get a field goal before the half. 17-13. LSU starts with the ball in the second half. After we turn it over. And this time, fourth and two, the kick is good. Didn't move a whole lot, but hey, as long as it's between the uprights, that's all that matters. Rail are rolling out, and he finds Coleman. We'll take that, 24 to 16 Huskers. And then third and two, big stop here. That's going to set up a 56-yard field goal. And guess what? Down the pipe, hitting the back of the net. 24 to 19 big play here lloyd second and 13 look at the blocking and the speed lloyd able to get to the sideline turn it up see the shock in the bottom corner there lloyd 78 yard touchdown 31 to 19 lsu not giving up though trey holly the direct snap three yards out 31 26 See Dante converting a third down there. And then third and two. Big convert here, bouncing it back. And from that point, the Huskers can run out the clock. And they start out 1-0. and So you see Dante, big game for him. He was the player of the game. A touchdown. Lots of yards on the ground. Really even game. Not a lot of turnovers. One apiece. Of course, ours was a pick six. Other than that, Pretty fair. 202 yards passing for Nussmeyer. TD and an interception. Jackson dominating on the ground. 137 yards. Very effective. In the passing game, Xavion Thomas, 8 for 84. The touchdown to Mason Taylor to tight end, but effective nonetheless. For the Huskers, 11 of 14 is Mr. Dillon. 164 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, so a positive TD interception ratio. We like that. You already saw what Dowdle did. 128, two broken tackles. The pass game is where it was at, though, the yak yards. Lloyd taking that drag for a score, 96 yards in total for him, and Coleman getting a touchdown reception as well. Three players finished defensively with double-digit tackles. Sacks, non-existent. But Malcolm's interception, huge. Nebraska starting out 1-0, so validating that early season ranking. And up next, on the road, headed to Boulder, taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. I just don't have anything positive to say. We'll see if we can get a dub in Boulder. They got the win last season. Let's see if we can return the favor in season two and if we can things are looking good for the huskers as that momentum from season one seems to have carried over